my bleachers right there are my last line. You I always want to keep it at a slight angle this direction. I'm going to do a very slight overlap like that, okay? And then I'm going to come on down now. Okay, if you go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm John Schaff with Spartan Chemical. Okay, John, and what do we have behind you here today? We're looking at a wood floor on a high school gymnasium. Okay, and it looks pretty shiny. Why is it so shiny back there? We just got through uh, the process of uh, screening it down and recoating it with a water-based ur uh, urethane. Okay, and so why are you using a water-based solution today? We're using a water-based product uh, primarily because uh, the state of Indiana, along with several other states, have uh, started to control the amount of VOCs that are allowed up into the air. And with that, it takes you from going from utilizing a oil modified to a urethane to a water-based product. But things to keep in mind when you're doing your floors is you want to make sure it's properly prepared. And that's done by properly dust mopping, cleaning the floor first, and then uh, screening the floor with the proper grit of screens. Uh, in this particular floor, we started with an 80, went to a 100, then went to a 120 before we started coating. Uh, then we put down two coats. We're in the process of getting ready to start our second coat of uh, uh, water-based product. Okay, anything you'd like to add for people looking into doing their own floor or just you know something to look for if you're if you're looking into gym floor or refinishing? If you're looking at doing a gym floor, what I tell you is if you have experience, great. If you don't, contact your local distributor and they'll provide the resources to help you.